Okay, so I may have found a buyer for my uh, 1989 Suzuki Super Cali. Uh, loads of people, people every single week, every single month, I get dozens of people asking to buy that van. But it's rusty, it needs a certain amount of work, you've got to collect it from up here in the middle of nowhere. So every time it's either not worked out, I've said like, listen, this isn't going to work. You're not going to be able to use this in the way that you think you can. Um, but... I managed to find, I, well, I've actually known about this place for ages. It's a Facebook page called Retro Shite. It's a guy uh, down somewhere in the south of Scotland who buys and sells and collects old cars, shite cars, rusty cars. It's his whole kind of ethos. And he, uh, he gives them away, he sells them. Um, he's the kind of guy that I was like, wait, why did I not think of this earlier? Surely he would maybe want this. He could do a giveaway for it, all that sort of thing. And I got in contact with him, and funnily enough, he did want to do that. So now I have to try and get the van out. It's not run in three years. The last time it ran was probably when you guys saw me doing a tour of it, <laughs> to give you context, and that was about three years ago. So um, we're going to go down there, and uh, we're going to try and get it running. Uh, my tractor's normally in there, but I've actually taken the tractor out of the way uh, by now. So um, let's go down and... See if we can get it running. Well, here she is. Like I say, she's not run in a couple of years. Um, seems to be all tires inflated. There's the battery compartment. But it's under the floor in these things. Here's everything piled up. There's a little Kharkov Chanka sticker. Okay. Let's get to work. Forgot the keys. Five hours later. Well, she is officially out of the garage for the first time in goodness knows how long. Probably, uh, like I said, the last time I had this thing out was when I filmed my, my video tour of it for the YouTube channel. Still has the Just Married signs on it from my sister's wedding. <laughs> some paint patches where we uh, tried to fix some of the bubbling rust. Um, and she's actually, I mean, for something that's been sitting in the garage all these years, uh, not looking too bad. Uh, she was fizzing slightly and um, there was a little bit of a sizzling that was coming from here it certainly smells strong um but uh i could be a leak in the radiator or something i'm not sure but yeah she's uh, looking pretty clean altogether pop top roof still functional cupboard and everything in there complete first time it's seen daylight and a long time, my goodness. God, this thing is tiny. <laughs> He's never been in this. You don't 
fit in here. You don't fit in here. Okay, so. Good. Right. Let's load into it. We've got a spare wheel. There should be that over there. That is the uh, the extra seat for the back. Running okay. Worst possible day to have them. Um... Oh, yeah. She stalled. <laughs> See if she starts again when the ferry comes in.
Well, it certainly feels nice to have space in my workshop again, although uh, a bit sad, obviously, that it's gone, but it's better to, to look back on all the memories that you had rather than have something sit and, and not get used. And at the end of the day, like I mentioned, my original tour, it didn't get used. And hopefully the guy who's taken it, uh, Scott, can actually make some good use of it and perhaps give it to somebody who can really take it out and make some new, fresh memories with it. But uh, yeah, for the moment, anyway, Thanks very much for watching a little final update to the world's smallest camper van. And, uh, well, probably going to find some other piece of crap to put in here at some point as well, too. <laughs>